Okay, right here is a 1976 Clark, Michigan 475B. During the 1960s, the earth moving industry saw an increase in demand for larger rubber tire wheel loaders to do the work previously done by cable shovels. Clark Equipment Company responded in 1965 with the introduction of the big 475A Series 3. And a year later, in late 1966, the first production 475 was put into service. In 1970, Clark introduced the 475B as a replacement for the 475A Series 3. The 475B was available from Clark with bucket sizes ranging from 10 to 14 cubic yard capacity. 12 cubic yards was normally standard for this machine. However, Clark also offered an optional high volume 22 cubic yard bucket for coal loading purposes. And to help give you an idea of the size of a 475B, this loader measures 16 feet 2 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and, depending on tire size width, can range anywhere from 12 feet 7 inches to 13 feet wide. The 475B featured double plate boom arms with simplified Z-bar linkage mounted inside the boom arm assembly. The boom and bucket cylinders were mounted in line for maximum digging strength and minimal weight in boom. All lifting forces worked together for higher lifting power and faster cycle times. The 475B was equipped with full floating planetary drive axles with a single piece cast steel housing and Clark limited slip differentials in both the front and rear axles. Multiple different tire sizes were also offered for the 475B. The 475B featured a wide 67-inch vertical spacing between the upper and lower articulation points. This allowed for low bushing and pin loads in addition to easy service accessibility. The 475B was built like a tank. Both the front and rear frame sections on this machine are a solid 2-inch thick plate steel this provides maximum strength in severe operating conditions. Here you can see where one of the steering cylinders is located and the other is on the opposite side. And this is what will turn the front section of this loader to the left or right. Here you can get a good view looking at the Clark transmission on this loader which is a countershaft type power shift transmission with four forward and four reverse speeds. Mounted on the right side of this loader is the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here, which holds 273 gallons of diesel fuel. And mounted on the opposite, the right side sits the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which holds 242 gallons of oil. 
Okay, now let's go up on this big Michigan. Okay, let's go inside and check out the operator's cab first. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 475B. Okay, let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Out on the left side control panel, here you can see all of the gauges which will monitor this entire loader when it's in operation. This is the water temperature gauge volts, converter oil temperature, and the engine oil pressure. The right side control panel contains other switches to work other various functions on this machine, and here you can see the ignition switch to start the loader. These two hand levers that you see over here, on the left side below the steering wheel, control the transmission. The uppermost hand lever controls the loader's direction. This is in the neutral position right here. Push forward to make the loader go forward and pull back to engage the loader into reverse gear. The lower hand lever is for gear selection. This is fourth gear and then push forward to third, second, and first gears. Off to the right side are the boom and bucket control hand levers, which control all of the digging functions of the loader attachment in the front. The right hand lever controls the boom. Pull back to hoist and push forward to lower. The left side hand lever controls the bucket. Pull back to curl and push forward to dump. The 475B featured a bucket leveler which automatically stops the bucket at level dig position as the boom lowers and a boom kick out which automatically stops the boom as it is being raised at a predetermined height which allows the operator to focus on steering and maneuvering the loader. When compared to the older 475A Series 3, the 475B featured a 23% increase in cab space. This new cab design was first installed on the 475B series starting in 1974. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 475B. One improvement that was made to the 475B series was a new pinover rollover protection system over the operator's cab, which you can see right here. Okay, now we're going to talk a little bit about the powertrain on the 475B. From up here you can get a good view looking down at the Clark single phase torque converter which feeds directly into Clark's transmission. The engine drives three torque converter mounted gear type hydraulic pumps, each rated at 78 GPM at 2000 RPM, which you can see right down inside of there. The pumps work together to produce a total output of 234 GPM for this machine. And directly behind the operator's cab, here you can see the set of air intake and air cleaners for the engine. 
The 475B also featured a brake air dryer, which was a standard feature on this machine, which you can see right here. This removes water and oil vapor from the brake and air system and automatically dries and purges foreign materials from the system at the same time. And here you can see the grease barrel for the central lubrication system. Let's go and check out the engine on this machine. The 475B was available from Clark with either a GM Detroit 16V 92N80 V16 diesel engine producing 632 horsepower and 1,966 foot-pounds of torque at 1,400 RPM, or a Cummins VTA 1710C700 V12 diesel engine producing 612 horsepower and 1,925 foot-pounds of torque at 1,500 RPM. And as you can see, this 475B is Cummins powered. And back here, you can see the engine radiator. Underneath here you can get a good view of the drivetrain and looking up, this is probably one of my favorite views to show on this loader. Here you can see the diesel engine and encompassing it and the drivetrain, you can see the massive heavy duty frame. And on the back of the grill, here you can see the original cast aluminum plate that says Clark. And the overall operating weight of a 475B can range anywhere from 76.7 to 79 tons. Clark began to suffer like many other equipment manufacturers during the 1980s economic recession. In 1981, Clark withdrew from the scraper and grader market. In 1984, following the acquisition of the Euclid truck line from Daimler-Benz, Clark Michigan Company formed a partnership with Volvo BM of Sweden. This effectively led to the formation of the VME Group in 1985, which Clark Michigan had become a subsidiary of. Under VME, the 475 series continued with the launch of the L480, which replaced the 475C, in 1987. Volvo later purchased the remaining shares of Clark in 1995, at which point VME Americans Incorporated became Volvo Equipment Company, thus ending Clark's 41-year involvement in the wheel loader business. But there she is, a 1976 
Clark, Michigan, 475B.